Well, I don't know if uh, you've been uh, watching in uh, one of my Shed World uh, videos when uh, I roughed out a slightly bigger log uh, to start carving uh, uh, a, one of the woodland faces, uh, a wood spirit, in a slightly larger size. And you saw me using some pretty heavy grinding type uh, cutters to uh, get the basic shape and now is the time to start the uh, fine detail that gives the face the character and uh, the interest. Now, as you can probably see from uh, behind, there's quite a lot of uh, tools involved, which I'll just have a look at in a minute. But this is uh, a stand, crude as it looks, uh, which then uh, locks down to uh, the bench with those big G clamps that gives stability to some work of A, this weight, which is borne by uh, the uh, old, uh, I think it's a Black & Decker stand, and then it's clamped with a big long clamp over a piece of wood there to space the uh, brace, and that gives me a good platform at more or less uh, shoulder height to work on so that when I'm looking at details of the face I'm looking uh, more at the angle which uh, I suppose you would uh, face another person at. Uh, this chap will stand a bit lower on the floor unless he's mounted up on a ledge or uh, a brick pile um, so to a certain extent all his main flow of his views will be looking down uh, and I'll try and pick up the eyes, as you can see the pupil that I've roughed in there, uh, so he's looking up. So when you stand back from him a little bit, if you imagine him upright, you're actually going to see him uh, looking you in the eye. Now, I did actually uh, just rough over the uh, roughed out work with some varnish. A reason for this, it helps me then when I start chiselling to actually see uh, what difference I'm making in depth and shadow line. Uh, now if I come in close on the eye, this is what we mean, or I mean by detailing. Now, I think that's pulled into focus. Um, what I'm trying to achieve here, sorry about the camera shake, but this is not on a tripod, and uh, I'm still recovering from England's uh, unfortunate defeat at the hands of the Welsh, which my neighbours are never going to let me drift out, uh, forget about. Um, what I've done is I've taken the eyebrow line and I've drifted it out a little bit and I've made the eyes less droopy, uh, as he really did look uh, rather sad and, uh, well, I want him to look uh, thoughtful and uh, concerned for his woodland glade. I didn't want him to look as though he was about to burst in tears, although with the uh, results on the rugby, he probably should have done. Uh, well, I certainly should have done. Um, I've also decided to make the mouth uh, just a little bit more uh, of a feature. Uh, I'm just coming close here. And what I'm going to do is, uh, which is a very common thing in these wood spirits, is a, a tongue, not exactly sticking out, but sort of almost going la 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 la. You know, I've heard it all before when the birds are complaining and going, you know, he says la 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 la, uh, which, uh, as I say, is one of the more traditional uh, uh, looks. Uh, these looks, which I suppose are a bit like the Maori tradition, you know, when they uh, make themselves look fierce and uh, a lot of sticking out of their tongues and insulting and grimacing. Well, <laughs> the Celts felt the same way and they uh, they like their wood spirits to uh, look as though they're frightening off the bad spirits because these chaps are good in total. Uh, don't believe the bad press they get with the green man and it's the devil. It's not. It's quite the opposite. This is uh, a nice kindly chap who's going to look after uh, the woodland glades and keep the uh, bad influences away. Um, now this particular log, as I said when I was roughing out, was very kindly donated to me by my neighbour, who I'm not speaking to, because he gave me a box of tissues last night. Uh, and said that he wouldn't knock on the door and offer me a drink because he didn't want to see a grown man cry. <laughs> well, we'll see about that next year. 
Now here are the, some of the tools uh, on the bench that uh, I've been using. My trusty mallet in a uh, really nice uh, lump of mahogany there. Um, and then all the uh, finer tools. Uh, here's here's a, a scoop uh, which uh, you have to keep sharp. Uh, these aren't the most expensive because I have to say that uh, I'm a bit rough when it comes to tools so uh, I tend to work on the principle that uh, if they're a little bit less expensive if I snap them it's not uh, the end of the earth and uh, after all it's only just a bit of extra honing. Uh, this is a fine detail knife again I think we looked at that before um, and uh, I'll be using that to uh, make sort of, uh, just put that into my hand, uh, some nice trimmings and detailing which sorry, put that into focus which is quite important when you get to this level so that's progress so far um, I reckon there's about uh, ooh, let's have a think probably another uh, week of chipping away at this few hours a day um, it's quite hard work and quite good fun certainly it takes out any uh, frustrations you've got and uh, I think he's going to come along uh, I think Owen is going to look uh, rather nice. So that's it. That's the beginning of the detailing. And then we'll be picking up the moustache line and maybe try to do, I don't know, maybe do some woven sort of Celtic work into the beard, which might give it a little bit more interest. Uh, and then he will get uh, a final coat, uh, maybe two or three coats of uh, varnish after a sealer, just to try and keep... Uh, old age at bay I suppose, a bit like me. So there we are, that's uh, an update just for those of you who might be interested to see uh, how Owen is coming on and uh, he really has got rather a splendid nose hasn't he? <laughs> right, okay well there we are and uh, I'll send this off to my uh, very uh, talented son-in-law who might be able to blend that in with the original uh, roughing out. So from Shed World today, um, a very good afternoon to everybody and mm, shame about the rugby.